Lesson 12.4c, graphing an equation. These are going to be equations in two variables. An ordered pair, x, y, that makes an equation like y equals x plus 1 true is called a solution of the equation. So that ordered pair that makes this equation true is the solution of the equation. And the graph of the equation represents all of the ordered pairs that are solutions. The points on a graph can have whole number or fractional coordinates. The fractional coordinates can be written as fractions or decimals. We might see something like x is a half and y is 3 fourths, or we could see it's 5 tenths or 75 hundredths. The coordinates can be any pair of rational numbers that satisfies the equation makes the equation true. It's telling us to graph the equation y is equal to x plus 1. We start by making a table of values and we put, well, we have x plus 1. So if x is 0, well, x plus 1 would be 1. So we have an ordered pair of 0 for x and 1 for y. 0 for x would be right here and 1 for y would be right here. If x is 1, well, we add 1, that means y is 2. Our ordered pair is a 1 for x and a 2 for y. We have a 1 for x right here and a 2 for y. If x is 2, we're going to add 1, then y is 3. Our ordered pair is a 2, 3. We have 2 for x and 3 for y. And same with 3. We're going to add 1. Our y is going to be 4. Here we have a 3, 4. Do you see what the points are doing? If we have a 4, we're going to add 1 and the y will be a 5. We have a 4 and a 5. And we can keep going. We can keep making more ordered pairs. We have the ordered pairs. We plot them. Then we connect the points with a line to represent all of the ordered pair solutions of the equation. We have our line drawn through each of the points. Every point on this line is considered a solution of the equation. Here it's telling us to graph the equation y is equal to 2x. That's 2 times whatever x is. And we think, well, if x is 0, 2 times 0 is 0. That means our y is 0, our ordered pair is 0, 0. If x is 1, 2 times 1 is 2, then our y is 2. Our ordered pair is a 1 for x, a 2 for y. And if x is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, so our y value is a 4. We have our ordered pair of 2 and 4, and so on. If x is 3, 3 times 2 is 6. If x is 4, 4 times 2 is 8. We have our ordered pairs. We have our table of values. We can plot the ordered pairs. 0, 0 is 0 for x and 0 for y. That's right here at the origin. Our next ordered pair is 1 for x, 2 for y. We have 1 for x and 2 for y would be right here. Our next ordered pair is 2 for x, 4 for y. We have 2 for x, and we go up to 4 for y. Then we have 3 for x, 6 for y. Here's 3 for x, and we go up to 6 for y. Then we have 4 for x, 8 for y. 4 for x, and 8 for y. Then we connect the points with a line to represent all of the ordered pair solutions of the equation. Every location on the line will be a solution of this equation, not just where we have the points that we plotted, even in between. This would be a solution, this would be a solution, even right here would be a solution. Any place on this line is considered a solution to the equation y equals 2x. We could have the ordered pair, 1 and a half is in between 1 and 2, so that would be 1 and a half. Look at 1 and a half, 3. And if you multiply 1 and a half times 2, it does equal 3. To draw our graph correctly, we must draw a line through the points. 
and the line should end with an arrowhead to show the solutions of the equation continue with greater values. If our graph was bigger, our y values could be 8, 9, 10 and continue on, and our x values could continue on here, and the line could be longer, so it ends with an arrowhead showing the solutions continue with greater values. So let's see if we can try graphing this equation, y is equal to x plus 3. If x is a 0, x plus 3, well, 0 plus 3 is 3. Our y value would be at 3. And if x were a 1, we'd have 1 plus 3. That would be a 4. 2 plus 3 would be 5. 3 plus 3 would be 6. 4 plus 3 would be 7. And now we have our ordered pairs. We have a 0, 3, a 1, 4, a 2, 5, a 3, 6, and a 4, 7. And we can plot these points. 0 for x is right here, and 3 on the y would be right here. That's our first one. We have 1 for x and 4 for y. That would be right here. Then we have a 2 and a 5. We have 2 for x and a 5 for y. That would be right here. We have a 3 for x and a 6 for y. Here's 3 on x. And here's 6 on y. We have a 4 for x and a 7 for y. That would be right here. We can already see the line that it would be forming. We need to connect the points with a line in order to complete the graph. We can use a straight edge like a ruler. And we go from this point. We draw our line. We give it an arrowhead. And that shows that Every location on the line will be a solution of the equation. We are now finished with Module 12. We're going to be moving on to Module 13, and you can see what it's about. Our next lesson is 13.1a. It's going to be area of a parallelogram. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll meet again at Module 13. Bye.